now that we have added quality to our items and we are able to show that quality by color in the tooltip, we will add some extra functionality to the subclasses of the item so that the subclasses can add their own text to the tooltip. Because right now the item itself is only writing the title, but we would also like the, the tooltip to tell a little about what the item actually is and what it does. And to do that, we will have to add some functionality to the subclasses uh, of whatever that is describable. So in this case, um, we can do it with the item first and the subclasses of the item so that we know what to do when we need to do it to the spells later. So right now, our item has a get description. We would like to add some functionality to that get description in the potion, for example. So let's try to go to the script folder here and find our items and the health potion. Inside the health potion, we would like to add our own description function and to do that we will actually have to make sure that we can overwrite it and we do that inside the item class right here and to overwrite it we will have to make sure that this one is public virtual when something is virtual we tell um, Visual Studio that well we have some functionality here but you can overwrite it if you want to and that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to write in our health function public overwrite um, get description. It's very important that you return the base that get description. If we forget the base, we are going to um, deny the tooltip the the title. So we can, for example, let's try to remove the base and just return um, something like um, this is a health potion, right? Um, that restores health, for example. So if I save this now and go to my game, you will see that the tooltip has been overridden by the potion itself and it only takes in the long text here. It doesn't have the, the title. So we need to put in the title there as well. And to do that, we can say description, And by doing that, we take the base, which is the function here called get description. And we also, of course, need to add on the other description. So let's just, um, I need to close something here so that I don't have that many open. If I do plus here. So now you'll see we have the base description and text. So let's try again. We will have it on the same line though. Um, let's just add the item. There we go, health potion. This is a health potion that restores health in one line. Well, if we want it on the next line, we can do a backslash n. That's a new line. So if we save that now, we will have it on the next line. There we go. So now we have health potion. This is a health potion that restores health. Okay. So that that text doesn't really help us understand what it is. So we would like it to tell how much health it restores. To do that, we can make a new string format let's just uh, scratch this one and say plus string dot format um, backslash n to make a new line uh, restores health and let's say it w when we use it so use restores an amount of health comma health so we are writing the title we make a new line we write use and it's going to restore an amount of health so if we save this and go in here it says health potion use and uh, restores 10 health so where's the 10 health from well of course it's from our item here we have written that it restores 10 health. So whatever you do here, let's say it's 20 instead, well, based on the item or the prefab, it will write the right value. So when we do that, it always writes the right value. You can see there's a space. Health potion is not aligned with use, and that's because I made a space by mistake right there. Just delete that space, and if you go back, it will be without a space now. There we go. Okay, so I would like that text to be in another color. 
and to change the color we simply go in here and say well what color do I want this is just an example I would like this color here called 00FF 00FF and I need to finish off the color down here the two color tag um, that's not what I want to there the save and let's try again so a text that tells me about a usage of an item I would like to have some some color for example here there it's now it's green for example so health potion and this is use restores 20 health so right now our bag doesn't have an extra descri description so let's open up the bag and go down here and overwrite the function as well so public overwrite get description and we just need to add string dot format And we're just going to write how many slots there is on the back. There we go. So we're just going to write 20 slot back or whatever it is. So let's just leave it with that that color. Save it and play. Now you'll see that it shows that it's a bag. And it's a 20 slot back in this case. And again, the 20 slots are based on the amount of slots that is not even created here. I forgot it's not created here. It's created in the script. So now we can show custom descriptions based on the actual um, subclasses of the items. In the next video, we are going to add the tooltip functionality to our spells so that we can pull them onto the action bar and see a uh, description of the spell that tells you how much cast time it has, maybe how much mana it costs, and what how much damage it does. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that InScope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.